Hello everyone, welcome back. Today is Tuesday and um, let's see, last Friday, I went to an estate sale and um, I was very happy because it was really close to where I live. So, um, but I really wasn't happy with the prices. Uh, they were up there for, I would say 75% of the items. So I really didn't get a whole lot, but I spent a lot. I mean, I don't know if she like added wrong, but probably not. Because now that I'm sitting here looking at everything, you know, because I spent like 70, $72. $72 at an estate sale. Somebody needs to slap me silly. I didn't even bother going back the next day for for um, the half price day. I'm like, ah, uh, nah. No, even though there were a couple things I saw that I really liked, there was a Mary McGregor. It was a beautiful um, picture um, that was in the, the China cabinet and there were, and there was a couple other things in the cabinet that I had my eye on, but they wanted, um, I can't remember what the price was on the picture, but anywho, um, it was, it was pretty pricey. So most of the items here are for resale. Um, in fact, I think all of them are except one. I think. <laughs> um, but I do have um, stuff from the estate sale. After the estate sale, I uh, pulled up the uh, garage sales and stuff on my phone and found out that there was a rummage sale at this church. They have them like two or three times a year usually. So I went to that too, and I, I got some great stuff um, at that one. And I also have some friend mail that I would like to share with you as well. Um, but before I start, I just wanted to bring up a couple of things. Um, there was, um, what, pardon me, I know I have issues with my bangs even when I get them cut, but um, I have a subscriber that was trying to get in touch with me by going on my to my eBay shop and um, asking a question about an item that I was selling. It is a big eBay no-no to communicate with people out, you know, when it doesn't have anything to do with your eBay. So basically, if someone wants to get a hold of me about an item that they saw in a haul video, you cannot get a hold of me through eBay. I will not answer you because I am not getting kicked off of eBay. You have to send me an actual email email. My email address is in the description box of all of my videos. If you email me through eBay, I cannot answer you. Even if I want to, I cannot because I do not want to um, risk having anything happen with my eBay account. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Um, also, I want to let everyone know that on October 23rd, uh, I'm not exact on the time yet because I have CRS and I forgot already, but it's at night. I, I want to say 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but I'm not positive. But... Um, I was asked by Crafty Jackie, and if you have not seen Crafty Jackie's channel, 
I will um, put a link for her channel in my description box. <laughs> Got Sophie on my lap as usual. Uh, but she asked me if I would like to do um, a live Christmas sale with her. And I do have a lot of Christmas. Um, so I said, sure, why not? It'll be fun. I can. <laughs> definitely do that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Just to eat your food over there. <laughs> Tell them how you could decorate four houses at least, inside and out. Well, unfortunately, son, the stuff that I will be selling at that sale and the first week in November is not anything that's from Dow Seller. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I got rid of a lot of that stuff already. So anyways, <laughs> I do have a lot of Christmas stuff. Uh, I will probably go through it again as I'm decorating. But anyway, um, so that will be, as I said, October 23rd. It will be um, probably, I think, 8 o'clock, she said. Um. When I get more details, because I'm going to give her um, a little ringy dingy and uh, write everything down, and then I will update you guys. Um, on, I know it's a little early, but you could jot it down, grab you know a little pen and paper or whatever. Um, I can't even like. I'm watching my son go back and forth to the refrigerator and it's like, it's cutting off my concentration. It doesn't take much. Um, the first Saturday in November, which I believe is November 5th, I will be having my live sale of just Christmas stuff. Because everybody's been emailing me about Christmas. So, um, as I said, I will be having my Christmas live sale on the first Saturday in November, which I believe is November 5th. So I wanted to get that out there as well. Um, anything else? Um, I don't think so. Oh, one more thing. Um, as I said, I do um, enjoy... Uh, letting everybody know of uh, new channels that have to do with thrifting that are in, in our thrifting community. And I wanted to let everyone know that um, I have been watching Lucid Curious or Curios. Um, and I just love her. Her name is Elizabeth. She um, is brand new, you know, uh, pretty new, like she only has a hundred and something subscribers. So I wanted to like give a shout out for her, try to help her along there with uh, subscribers and views. I will leave her link in the description box as well. So y'all can go and check her out and uh, let her know I sent you. And um, you'll, you'll enjoy her. She's got a great sense of humor. So uh, I will definitely leave that for you guys as well. Um, I guess that's it. So let me get into this haul video. First, I will start with the estate sale. Alrighty, so, um, there were some Joseph Originals there, and, um, I purchased three of them. So, one was $5, one was $4, and one was $3. So this one is a December Joseph original. She is very pretty. She was $5. And she's in perfect condition. I made sure I checked each one of them out which doesn't say much anymore because I can't see crap, so, but I try my best. <laughs> so as far as I know, she is in great condition. So she was five. I, I'm not really sure 
what I'm going to do with these yet. I, I mean, I bought three and I have a couple more. So I don't know if I'm going to offer them in a live sale, I'll list them on eBay, or if I do put them in a live sale, maybe I will sell them as like um, an entire lot. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm doing. I got this one, which is the exact same one that was at the Goodwill where the six was broken. The six was broken across here and they took it and glued it back on. But this one is in perfect condition. She was $4. But I mean, you know what? It is what it is. They're very cute. And I know people love them, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. And then this one is a little cutie. This is the two-year-old. And she was $3. Look how cute. I'm sorry, that's the microwave. My son, if I could tell you how many times a day the microwave buzzes and the air fryer goes on and off, I mean, I, I, I would lose count. He's a bottomless pit, okay? So you'll hear all kinds of stuff going on. Anyways, she was $3. Um, the next thing I got was this little bag of um, mercury. It's mostly mercury ornaments for $2. I haven't actually gone through the whole bag, but... I will. <laughs> I did get some, this one uh, came undone, but it doesn't matter. I could still use it. Um, I got some vintage cookie cutters. This one's really cool. I like that. This came unsoldered or however they put it on there. But I got that one. I will probably use these um, on my polymer clay um, when I start doing it again. Uh, so that's ba basically why I bought them because they're really unique. Like I love this one. It's pretty cool. This one was a dollar. I th no. Um, yeah, this one was a dollar. I don't think this one was 50 cents, but I think she charged me 50 cents for all of them. And then I got this cute little pumpkin one. There you go. So that's that. I got this for me to put with the rest of my um, Halloween decorations. $2. $2. That's what I'm saying. Oh, well. <laughs> Need my head examined. Yes, I do. Then I got this little guy. He was 50 cents. He's cute. <laughs> my son's looking at me like I'm nuts. Uh whatever. <laughs> um, I got this really cool old book just for um, decor. I thought I love the picture on the front and um, it's set. Oh, this is from 1925. Marjorie Ann K. Christmas, December 25th, 1925 from her sister, Mary Margaret Kay. That is so cool. I don't see, I do not see a copyright in here, but I'm assuming obviously that it's from the 20s. Whitman Publishing Company. Yep, I don't see a
What the heck? It's got all these. Mary Lee books for girls. Nope, but that's the stuff that's in the back. So I did get that. I really like this book. It's very cool. I got a couple pieces of jewelry. I just thought this was so, so cool. Um, it was $5. Um, let me take this stupid. And it could be worn, I think. Well, I don't know. It has, it's a pin. It's a brooch. I'm trying to get the masking tape off of here. But it also has um, a hook, like a hook and eye. So perhaps it could be slid on a collar. But look at that. Doesn't that look like something from like, um, you know, medieval times? Like, you know, one of those, uh, what do they call them? But, you know, the ladies with the tall cone hats with the with the scarf hanging off of it would wear. Very cool. And then I got a couple pairs of earrings. No, not a couple, a pair of earrings. These I think are just awesome. I'm trying to get them to hang right. Look at these. How cool are they? Love them. Here, this one has, actually what it is, is it's supposed to look like a flower. Or, no, I'm sorry, like cherries. There's the leaf and then the cherries. So, so cool. Um, Yeah, these are, like, awesome. Looks to me, though, like they have the hooks on the wrong way. Because if you put it in, then it's facing this way. So I'm going to have to try and take the hook off and switch it. Which I will. So I got those. And then I got this really awesome compact. Um, this is the front of it. I don't know if this is Bakelite or you know how they made that like, uh, it looks like the color of like the tortoise shell, whatever, but it still has powder and the powder puff. Then I got this beautiful, oh my gosh, the colors on this are just gorgeous. It, it looks to me to be hand painted um, it is made in Austria. Oh my gosh. Made in Harbor. Harbor something Austria. But it, you know, it had, it said as is, and, and I was looking at it and looking at it and I couldn't see anything, but there are a couple of chips. Well, let me show you the front first. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? So what they meant by as is, is on the underside, there is a chip here. And where's the other one? Oh, over here. Right there. Other than that, there are no other chips or cracks, and it's just gorgeous. So I did pick that up. I thought this was such a pretty set that I had to get it. It was $6. $6. You know, sometimes you go to these estate sales and you don't want to leave empty-handed. So you, against your better judgment, purchase things that you know you should punch yourself in the face before even thinking about it. 
And that was my case at this sale. But anyway, I did buy, this is beautiful. It is this beautiful Asian pitcher, little creamer. And the inside has this gorgeous design on the inside rim. Um, and it says, Fine Bone China, Crown Staffordshire, and it's called Chinese Willow. And it came also with the two salt and pepper shakers. So pretty. I love the colors. I don't know what the heck is in there unless it's a piece of salt that turned to rock, which is probably what it is. So I'll probably end up pulling these little pl plugs out <laughs> and taking it out. All right. So there's those things. I am just going to, just pardon me while I slide these things over here that I have already shown you so I can get them out of my way. Okay. This too. That too. Okay. Now, I did get some very cool tins. Um... This one, um, I've seen these before, but this one was in really great condition. And it's one of the uh, fruitcake tins. Um, it was actually in somebody's antique booth at one time because there's their little tag. But um, Shirley Jean Fruitcake. I know I saw a date somewhere. At least I thought I did. Maybe not. Maybe not. But, oh look. There's still wax paper in there. <laughs> Somebody must have sent cookies in it. So I'll make sure, you know, I wipe these out and everything. So I got that one. I always like that one. I love the, the scene on it. And it's raised. It's like raised in 3D. Very cool. Then I got this one. I just love this tin. So that tin was a dollar. This one was $2. Um, this is a shortbread tin. And um, the title of the picture on the front is The Black, The, the Black Watch at Edinburgh Castle. I just love that picture. And then it has the tartan plaid going all around the outside. And it's it's in good shape. Let's see if I can open it. Hope there's nothing inside that's going to... Okay, now this is good shape. <laughs> good, 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 good shape. I just have to clean them up a little bit. Um, but yeah, so I just thought that was awesome. But this one is the best one. Now, this one has a little more wear, but it's really not bad. This uh, is a French chocolate tin. And how do I know that? It, because it's written on the price on the back. Um, but it's written in French on the sides. But this is the tin. How cool is this? Now, as you can see, there are some scratches um, that went through the, the picture, you know, right down to the metal. But really, it is not in bad shape at all. 
Um, it has a little, it's dented a little bit in this one corner right here. Let me see if I can get it open. Hmm. Oh, there we go. So there's the inside. And I got to tell you, these edges are a little bit sharp. But um, anyway, so yeah, I had to grab this. I know it was $5. I probably needed my head examined as I keep saying, but it just, it's just so, so cool. What does that say? Oh my gosh, you think I would remember to bring, it is sharp because I actually got a little cut on my finger. Um, I don't know, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, okay. I should bring the magnifying glass with me and have it on the table when I'm doing a video so I can see. Let's see, I've been doing this for like two years now. You think I would, you know, remember these things? Sometimes I do. Most of the time I don't. Got some linens. Very, very nice linens at that. Most of these have no stains. And if they do, they're very minor. Um, I opened them up while I was there and looked at them. Um, so, but look at this tablecloth. Let me, I don't know why I just opened, it's, it's good size. It's a square. It's definitely a square, but this is the pattern. Look at that. Look at the cherries. And as I said, it's in great, great, great condition. So the table, oh, here's a stain right here. This is the one, this is the one and only, I think. Um, it's a pale yellow stain. Now, as I said, I have not washed these or anything. I just bit my tongue. Did you see that? Oh, I hate when that happens. Um, I have not washed these or anything, so, um, which I will, and I will put some pre-treat on there and try and get it out because, and, and I just want to let everybody know this little tip. I, um, used to work in the laundry at the hospital here, and I also was a laundry supervisor at a Catholic school at Stella Niagara. If you wash something that has a stain on it and you don't treat it and you wash it and then you put it in the dryer, the dryer bakes the stain in so that there's no chance that it's ever going to come out after that. Unless it was, this, you know, like with this case, now that stain, I don't know if that stain um, was on there and was washed and dried already. You know what I'm saying? So I'm taking a chance trying to get it out. So you definitely, when you buy linens and they have stains, you definitely want to pre-treat them before you wash them and dry them because once dried, it's a done deal. So I just wanted to share that with everyone. This one is awesome. And like I said, um, I, I opened all of these up and I didn't see anything major. Look at this. So it goes this way. <laughs> this is a big one. This is a big rectangle, rectangular tablecloth. And let me show you this side. So there you go. Now you know like the pattern and the colors. And as I said, this is, this has a stain right here. So I'm going to try to pre-treat it and uh, see if I can get it out. If anything, maybe even make it lighter so it's less noticeable. So 
But I have to say the room that they had all the linens in, the lighting was horrific. I mean, it was so like dark. They had a light in there that was like probably 25 watts. So when you're trying to see stuff, it was like a lost cause. Um, even though I know I can't see well anyway, <laughs> but you really, really couldn't see with this lighting. It was terrible. So, whoops, get over that. And then I got this one. And this one has some staining, like some yellow. Look at the colors, though. There is some yellow um, stains on there. I don't know if you guys can see them. There they are. How can you not? There they are. Um, but this is a smaller square tablecloth. And here's the full pattern. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I just love it. So the tablecloths, the big tablecloths were $6 and the smaller tablecloths were four or three. So, and then I got this whole set for $4. Michelle, comfy, cozy living. OMG. <laughs> so, look at this. Well, look at that stain. But that's all right. So, these are... I don't know if these are napkins. They, no, they are not. Okay, this is different. Look at, look how small that is. So there's one, two. Okay, and then there's the triangle or the rectangular ones. Huh, I don't know. There's two squares. There's one regular napkin, and then there's one, two, three, four, five, six of the rectangular ones, and then there's two. This one is a table runner, which is awesome. Oh my gosh, I love this. Oh my goodness. You can see um, where they sewed them together here. So that is a table runner. I didn't take everything out and open it up. It was in that bag. And when I was going through some other linens, I found two more of the cherry things that went, went with it. So I stuffed them in the bag. Um, and then this is a small tablecloth, very small. Like, this is probably for half of a table. <laughs> and it does have quite a bit of staining on it. But I'm going to try my darndest to get it out. Because I was going to keep this for myself. But I don't know. We'll see what I can do with it. Because I definitely am not going to sell it with the amount of staining that's on the items. So, I don't know. But for $4 for all of these pieces, I don't mind. I don't mind at all. We'll see what I can do with everything. Perhaps I'll just soak it all. I don't know. I don't know. So. Uh, and then. Okay. So we're down to the last item that I purchased. And. It was the best item of the whole estate sale. And it is a pink depression glass fairy lamp. When I saw this on the table, I was like, no friggin' way. No way. Look at that. Amazing. I just love it. This will be in a live sale. 
coming soon. <laughs> so that's what I spent $72 on. Yes. Okay. Now, let's get to uh, the rummage sale. If anybody has a birthday in April or love daisies or both, I found this awesome milk glass coffee cup mug and it has the daisy. Um, daisy is the flower for April, apparently. I did not know that. And it has a little... A uh, little uh, story on the back, shall we say. Uh, Though they've been cultivated for over 2,000 years, daisies recall the days of carefree youth. As Nevet and freshness crown the days of youth, so the dew crowns the daisy. I just love this cup. Um... I spent $20 at the rummage sale. I got this. This is an awesome, awesome, awesome personal little creamer. This is made by May's China Company. Is this not awesome? Look at the design. It reminds me of Spirograph. No chips, no cracks. It's like brand spanking new. I love that. It goes really well with the cup. <laughs> uh, this little guy I picked up. And I'm going to keep him for myself. Because I just can't stand it. He's so cute. And um, it looks like he was broken and glued back together on his bow. But look at this little guy. How cute is he? <laughs> and as you can see, there's the, the crack, the bow. Went all the way up like this and down. Made in Japan. So, uh, yes, I will be keeping him for myself. <laughs> then I found this little spaniel, uh, cocker spaniel. It is glass, like ceramic or something. Uh, he stepped on his two front paws. <laughs> Look at how cute he is. He has a little bit of little uh, paint chipping. Oh my goodness. He is just too cute. <laughs> this is um, one lonely bookend. But um, if I'm not mistaken, this is a pug. It is made in Japan, and look at the face on him. I mean, how depressing is he? <laughs> he looks so sad. <laughs> but it's in really great condition. There's the made in Japan. So I just thought, you know what? I said, you don't have to have two bookends. If one end is up against something, then you put this on the other end. Heck yeah. He's cute. Sad, but cute. I got this little guy, and, you know, he does have a hairline crack. No, he doesn't. That was a, a Binks hair. <laughs> when a Binks's hair was on the bottom, I thought it was a hairline crack. <laughs> Oh, dear. Look at this little guy. How cute is he? 
He's a creamer. The only issue he, he has is a little chip, the very tip of his little horn there. See that? But other than that, he does have some crazing. Uh, I do not know who makes him. Um, I don't know. That's the bottom. So it's definitely not Royal Copley, uh, Shawnee. I can never think of the names of the pottery companies when I'm doing the video. But yeah, so he is adorable. So I got him. This is a beautiful piece. This is a, a Francoma. Look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? It's a dish. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I love the color. I got these. It was funny when I was, I have to wash them when I was uh, catching out. <clears throat> Excuse me cashing out the lady goes oh the humble look-alikes <laughs> i suggest they are made in japan but they're uh you hang them on the wall and i just thought they're so cute so i grabbed those <laughs> um i don't see any issues with these either except that they're overly filthy so I will get those cleaned up and they will look amazing. Now, this vase does have some hairline um, cracks, but I bought it anyway because it's beautiful. Uh, I absolutely love this. It has a lot of crazing, which I love, but look at this vase. Look at the colors. Lime green, blue, and dark green, and cream. Look at that. It's just beautiful. So this is the bottom. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see the hairline cracks, but there's one here. And... There's some on the side. There you go. You can see those. But I don't see why you still can't use it because they don't go far down. They only go like maybe down to here. So I don't think that's going to hurt anything. It's just gorgeous. I love it. I had it in my hand and I'm looking at it and I'm, looking, I'm going, I'm buying it. It's beautiful. Then I got a couple of books. Mind your manners. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my word. Okay. So this is JB Lippincott Company, Chicago, Philadelphia, New York. The copyright is 1957. So let's see. Here's some of the graphics. <laughs> let's see. Awesome. Just awesome. They're showing you how to set a table. <laughs> Boy, look at the look she's giving him. She's looking at him like, what the heck are you doing? <laughs> this is so cool. And then I got this. Look at this. This is, it, it almost feels like cloth, but it's not. Uh, this is from 1958, Board of Education, Niagara Falls. There you go. So somebody rented a book and did not return it. 
Call the library police. But look at this. How cool is this? Oh my goodness. I love these. Oh, look at his name is Puff. Oh, look, Jane. Look, Dick. See, funny Sally. Funny, funny Sally. Yes. <laughs> love these old books. All right, I got a bunch of linens. So now these pillowcases are gorgeous. Whoever made these did a fantastic job. Look at that needlework. Now, actually, they're not pillowcases. They're curtains. For crying out loud. The lady at the rummage sale, she goes, oh, look at these nice pillowcases. They are curtains. So there's one set of curtains. I have one more panel. I know this one, it had a little bit of a spot on there. But as I said, I will wash all of these. She only charged me a dollar for these and they are beautiful look at that all that work hmm beautiful very very nice curtains i they're they feel like they were never, ever used, like washed or anything. They're like so like, I don't know. But I'll, I got another tablecloth, but I'm keeping this one, I think, for springtime. This tablecloth is amazing, okay? I'm definitely, look at this. Are you seeing? Look at that. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. Um, it is a square. And it's in really, really good shape. It really is. I opened these up. Um, look at that. It has a little teeny hole. Where is it? On this side, right here. But yeah, this is, there's some tiny holes, but it's really in great condition. I just love this. Um, but it might be a little too small for my table. So I will probably end up selling this. Unfortunately, I do love the colors, but it's not going to fit to my table. This one will fit my table. This one is actually too big for my table, so I will be selling this one as well. Look at this one. I can't see what I'm showing you, so I'm just going to turn it around. And it's a, a, a nice stiff linen, you know, like um, muslin, maybe I want to say. Uh, beautiful tablecloth. There is, you know, light staining. But like I said, we will wash everything up and see what happens. All right. Very, very cool. Um, I bought, of course, 
Would you guys look at these? I'm assuming that these, look at these, are little pin cushions. How cute are those? Oh my goodness. Then I got, I'm just going to run through these really quick. This one I love, the holly and the berries. This is perfect for now. I love that. I'm definitely keeping this one and the holly and berry one. But all the rest of these are going to be for sale. Look at these pretty pot holders. Look how pretty. This one. Then I got these dresser scarves, which um, I forget what this is called. I just had it in my brain and it left that quick. Uh, cruel? No. Um, you guys know what I mean. Look at that. Cruel? Now this one does have a stain, but I'm not worried about it. So there's one, two, they're all the same. Two, three, four, five of these. So I got those. So all of that stuff for $20. Beats the heck out of 70 at the estate sale. That's for damn sure. Ay, ay, ay. But, you know, I have no one to blame but myself. All right. So, the only other thing that I got from the rummage sale are these two bags of jewelry. They were a dollar a bag. And... I didn't even go through them, so I'm just going to, like, dump them out and see what's in here. If there's anything. Well, we have this pin. We have this pin. Um, a butterfly pin that's missing some of the stones. Whoops. <laughs> there are these earrings. There is one of these earrings. Those are pretty cool though, darn it. <laughs> Only one. There are these uh, two pairs of earrings. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of these that there's only one of. This is one of these. But you know what? These could be used for other things. I'll keep them because I could use them in my jewelry. There's only one of these. Uh, there's a little angel pin, or no, earring. This is an earring, but there's only one. Oh, no, there is two. There's the other one. This one has more beads. Oh, wait a minute. I don't know. 
Um, but most of these are just junk. That's for sure. Okay, so then let's see what's in this other bag real quick. Okay, these are pretty cool. I like these. Can we say 1980? Definitely 1980. And these are actually um, like a fuchsia pink. They're coming off red, but they're actually pink. Uh, okay, so there's little baggies here that have little bits and pieces and like bracelets. And here's another bracelet here. So what I'll do is I'll go through all of these for time purposes. Look at me thinking about time. Me and my one hour videos. And then I'll show you any of the good stuff. Because, uh, yeah. These are kind of cool. There's two of those. All right, so I'll put this back in the bag. I wanna pull this out and see what this is all about. This is kind of neat. It looks, oh my gosh, I can't get the bag open. I do not think that this is, uh, real gold. It's too light, I think. But I just wanted to check that out. Yeah, so, if there's anything really interesting in here, I will, um, I will show you guys. Alrighty, so, anywho, I am going to try and rip through this friend mail because um, this is already an hour long. So, I have a card here from someone. I do not know who, but they put a little skeleton on the outside. Oh, and a skeleton on the back. Very festive. So let me see who this is from. <laughs> Look at that. How cute is that? I don't know who this is from, but thank you. They live in um, San Diego, California. So I know it's not Larry, but that is so cute. It just says something 2020. Chach. I don't know. Thank you. I got to find some place to put this. Don't worry, I will find somewhere. Thank you very much. Also, uh, my friend Nicole Northgarden, I had sent her some stuff back in March and it got buried under all her kids' stuff from college. So she finally opened it like three weeks ago, <laughs> maybe a month ago. And so I had bought something from one of her live sales. So along with what I purchased and actually, well, never mind. Um, she sent these to me because she knows I have the Moonstone collection. This gorgeous plate and look at this. 
It's like a, I think it's a nut dish. But I would use this on my dresser with all the other stuff that I have for my jewelry and little tidbits. So thank you, Nicole. I, I sent her a, a little e uh, message. All right, so now I have another box here. And I don't know. Okay, so it was just one thing. Here's a card. It's got a thank you card. <laughs> oh, I know now. Um, D, thank you for your friendship and support over the last six months as I pursue this YouTube thing. It has meant a lot to me, and I can't wait to get out and meet you in person, hopefully soon. Sincerely, Clay. So I had sent Clay some friend mail, and he was doing a haul video and showed this frame. And I was like, oh, Clay, I want to buy that frame from you. I said it matches one that I already have, and I've been looking for one, you know, just like it. So he said, oh, I'll just throw it in the mail to you. You know, he didn't even charge me for it. And I just love Clay. And I know that I've told you guys about Clay before. So make sure you check out his channel, Clay Ramage. Yeah, this was, yes. Oh, darn. This is exactly the same frame, Clay. Oh my God, I'm so excited. That matches the one that I have. Oh, awesome. Oh, thank you. I Do you know how many how long I've been looking for another one of these frames when I go to estate sales and, and thrift stores and I haven't been able to find one? Oh, you made my day. Made my day. I would show you guys the other one, but it's packed away because I have all my Halloween stuff out. Oh, my goodness. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you, Clay. You're the best. I'm going to keep it wrapped up because I can't put it out right now. All right. Now, this other box is from my friend Todd. Todd Merritt. And for some reason, he, he was one of the people trying to get a hold of me through eBay. And I don't know what happened, but he said he couldn't get through to me through my email because he wanted to buy something from me. But, yeah, I don't know what happened with that. But he sent me this box of goodies, and I'm like, I'm so excited to see what's in here. I did open the box already, so now I'm just going to take everything out and see what's in here. All right, so we got all the packing out and all the paper. Just gonna put all this back inside here. All right, there we go. So, um, <laughs> so look at this. Glass Pebble Art. Etsy.com. Look how pretty that is. <laughs> okay, it says, Hi, D. Hope this little box of treasures finds you well. It's a little bit of this and that, but hopefully everything you love. Love your channel, and of course, Mr. Handsome Binks. Oh, and your chipmunk voice, ha ha. <laughs> uh, many well wishes and happy thrifting, Todd Merritt. P.S. Say hi to your sweet mom for me as well. Aw, thank you, Todd. All right, so look at this adorable, look at this. This is from 1909. Oh my word. Look at. 
Oh, that is awesome. Oh, I love that. I love these. I sent some of these to Mich uh, Michelle. No, not Michelle. To Tarnish Treasures. I don't know where I got Michelle from. There's all kinds of little goodies here. What's in here? Oh, look. Look how cute. <laughs> I love it. Thanks. Oh, my goodness. That's awesome. Hang on, guys. Oh, this says perfume on it. All right, let's see what we got. Wow, this is a long video, guys. If you want to, you know, go and take a little potty break, grab something to drink real quick. I didn't think it was going to be this long, but wow. Then again, I do tend to yap. <gasps> oh, my God. Gosh, look at that, you guys. Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh, boy, I can't wait to put that on my perfume tray. Oh, that's gorgeous, Todd. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Everything seems to be intact. Oh, wow. Royal Sealy China, Japan. This is just stunning. Oh, my gosh. That is gorgeous. Oh, wow. Beautiful, Todd. Holy schmoles. That is so cute. Look at that, you guys. I love it. I'm hanging this on my refrigerator. That's awesome. I love that. Thank you. With those old buttons. Oh, my gosh. I love it. Awesome. That is so cool. That will go with my other one. It's up on top of my refrigerator right now. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, I love it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, look at this little ornament. Look at it. Oh, how cute. Oh my gosh. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, I see another Binks. Oh, this is Redware. It will go, I got another one. Oh darn it, everything's packed. I got a big one like this, but he's not laying down, he's sitting. Oh, wow. Awesome. Oh, my goodness. Look at you guys. Ah! <laughs> oh, my God. That is so cool. This is going to go on my globe. Oh, my gosh. This is awesome. Wow. 
Here's another little... Oh! Here's a little vintage angel. Look at how pretty she is. Look at the color of her dress. Love it. Oh, wow. Okay, this is the last thing. Oh, my God. That is a, the coolest. Oh, my word. Made in the USA. Wow. Todd, oh, my goodness. Thank you. These are amazing, thoughtful gifts that you sent me. I am just, I'm overwhelmed. Like, thank you so much. I love every single one of them. Wow. Oh, my gosh. I, I, I just can't thank all of you enough. Like, oh, wow. How cool. Wow. Okay. I have, this is the last box. And this is from my buddy D-Dog. David, Todd, thank you. Not David, Todd. I mean, this box is from David. And now I just wanted to, again, say thank you to Todd. Um, I wish I could get this envelope open. What's my issue? I don't know. There we go. <laughs> All right. Oh, look how cute. <laughs> he always puts those little smiley faces. How cute is that? Dear Miss D, found some more items I thought you would like. Feel free to keep, sell, donate as you wish. Wishing you all the best. You are a wonderful person. Love, David. No, David, you are a wonderful person. Without a doubt. All right, let me just bring some stuff out here. Move this box over here. Oh boy, we got all kinds of goodies in here, guys. Well, let me start with this. Oh my God, would you look at the graphics? Oh my word, that is awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, look at this. Kitchen clatter, imitation butter flavor. Oh, wow. <laughs> I love it. Oh my God, I'm so mad I can't put this stuff out right now. Oh, oh my word. Oh, how pretty is this? I've never seen this before. It looks like it's anchor hacking. Look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I'm going to have to pull my book out. That is beautiful. Opalescent glass. Wow. That's beautiful, David. All right. Well, let me... Okay, here's the top. Alrighty, hang on guys. 
Oh, I feel a sneeze coming on. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So Jessica and her fiance, while I'm trying to open this, went to, uh, for, for this whole week, she'll be back Friday sometime, they left yesterday, went to Massachusetts, um, and they're going to visit like Cape Cod, and um, she wanted to, to do the Louisa May Alcott house tour, but it's closed now. So she got, you know, just got to take pictures of it from the outside. But, um, yeah, so that's what she's doing. They got a little bed and breakfast and, you know, so that's cool. So she'll be back in time to help me with my sale Saturday. This is beautiful. Let me just tell you. All right. Oh, how pretty is this? Look at you guys. Isn't that pretty? I love this blue. That's gorgeous. I'm going to set it there, though, so I don't knock it over. You know what? I'm going to try to incorporate this in my bathroom because he sent me a pink spoon that's the same material and same color. And I have it in my bathroom with the um, the old boxes of uh, soap that he sent me. So I'm going to try to incorporate that in there somewhere with that. Oh, look how pretty. What a pretty color. Oh, that's pretty. Perfect for springtime. Oh, there's a couple rolls of... Oh, this is... This is border. This is old wallpaper border. Look at this one has cherries. Look at. Oh, how cute is that? This could be used for crafting. This one has little um Look at. Isn't that cute? Oh, I love it. How cute. A couple more things here. Just grab them out of the... Oh, MG. Oh, David. This is an Avon decanter. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hold on. I am trying to figure out how to open this. And I did not bring scissors with me today. Uh... All right, I'm going to just have to rip. Dang it. Oh, my word. <laughs> I can't get it off. But anyways, you guys get the, will get the gist. Oh, I should have brought my darn scissors. Wait a minute, maybe I can find the end of the tape. Or not. Well, it is a grandfather clock perfume decanter, and it is Avon. It had um, elusive cologne in it. Oh, I love this. I do not have this. I love this. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Uh, 
I actually, um, I forgot to show it in my, my one haul video. I did get this. Oh, maybe these will fit in my, um, the thing I was talking about. Oh, look at their ball. Mason jar salt and pepper shakers. <laughs> How cute are those? You know what? My daughter might like these. I don't know. Oh, how cute. Look at that. <laughs> Those are cute. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. I remember these little tins. Oh, wow. Look at. You pressed on the back part and it popped open. Oh my God, this is going in my bathroom because I have all this kind of decor in my bathroom. And look at this little, how cute is this? Look at this little Morton salt. So it does have, look at that. And it has salt in it. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, that is so cool. A little Morton salt salt shaker. All right. And this is the gorgeous saucer that goes to this cup. Look at that. Look at. Oh, my gosh. That is so pretty. Could you imagine having a whole table set with this gorgeous dinnerware? Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Oh, David, thank you so much. Oh, everybody, like, let me show you guys this, this shelf really quick while I'm looking at it. I had bought it a, a couple Goodwill hauls ago and forgot to show it to you guys. It's just a very, it's a very narrow shelf but nice and long it's probably like two feet long oh look it i forgot i got this yardstick <laughs> at the estate sale let me measure it yeah i was well it's actually uh three three feet long but it hangs it's got the little holes on the back like that so I got this because this will hold smalls. So I thought I would try to find a way to incorporate it in my bathroom for some of my Avon, um, my little Avon things, you know? But yeah, and I forgot to show you guys uh, a couple hauls ago. <laughs> but um, anyways, wow. An hour and a half. I got to get out of here. This was the longest video I've ever done. If you guys are still with me, more power to you. <laughs> so I love you guys. I will see you soon. Um, I do have another haul video for you of stuff from the Goodwill. So I probably will try to do that video tomorrow tomorrow or Thursday. So I have uh, some pretty cool items for that haul. So with that being said, thank you so much for hanging out with me today, everyone. I love you guys very much. To, to those of you that sent me these wonderful gifts, thank you very much. Just know how much they're appreciated. They really, really are. And um, I will see you guys very soon. Bye for now.